हाय गाइस वेलकम टू केरियर नेक्टर योर ड्रीम इज आवर पेशन दोस्तों आज मैं इस वीडियो में आया हूं बात करने के लिए एफसीआई के प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर जो आपका सबसे हेवी डिमांड था कि सर एफसीआई प्रीवियस ईयर करा दो ठीक है ना तो आज 100 एमसीक्यूज के पूरा मतलब 2013 में जो पेपर आया हुआ था उसका डिस्कस करूंगा 100 क्वेश्चन वैसे 200 क्वेश्चंस आया था पर 200 क्वेश्चन एक वीडियो में बहुत ही ज्यादा लंबा हो जाएगा 2 घंटे के ऊपर वीडियो चली जाएगी तब मैंने एक घंटे की जैसे कंसाइज कर सकता हूं मैं उसी हिसाब से मैं आज सिर्फ एमसीक्यूज का आंसर बताऊंगा आप लोगों को और कौन-कौन से टॉपिक आपको फॉलो करना है कहां से क्वेश्चन पूछे जा रहे हैं आपकी कौन-कौन से केमिस्ट्री से आ रहे हैं या जूलॉजी से आ रहे हैं बायोलॉजी से आ रहे हैं मतलब बॉटनी से आ रहे हैं वो सारे बातें मैं बताऊंगा इस वीडियो में और इस वीडियो में बहुत सारे लोगों ने ये भी बताया कि आपको इंग्लिश में चाहिए दैट द मटेरियल यू वांट इन इंग्लिश एंड द टोटल डिस्कशन यू वांट इन इंग्लिश तो टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग इन इंग्लिश ओनली सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो गाइस आई विल बी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ द एजी फ्री टेक्निकल पेपर ओके सो दैट्स द होल द क्वेश्चंस दैट विल बी फॉलोइंग फ्रॉम नाउ ऑल दिस क्वेश्चंस विल बी डायरेक्टली टेकन फ्रॉम द 2013 एफसीआई बायोलॉजिकल साइंस पेपर so this is the first question the nutrient loss in heating of food products is great uh, is guided by the nutrient loss in heating so the bahut sare nutrients loss ho jate there is a heavy loss of nutrients in case if you see the vitamin c and vitamin e the vitamin c and vitamin e are the antioxidant and many of the students you know and uh, these things are uh, these things are lo um, lo these things are lost when you uh continuously heat the food products okay so this nutrient loss in the heating of the food products is guided by the first order reaction so this is a uh, this is a, um, a topic which has been taken from the chemical kinetics or rather you can say if you have a, a studied food technology or food science then you can answer this question this is a first order reaction many of the uh, reactions are for first order reaction uh, killing of the micro or organisms is also a first order reaction in case of a thermosterilization uh, so this question uh, belongs to that this is called the first order reaction okay so let's move to the second question guys so water requirement of uh, rice um, crop is estimated at what is the water requirement for the uh, rice crop uh, basically it is a range but here the option as like 600 uh, 1200 mm 2200 mm or uh, 2000 mm so you have to uh, tell that um, uh, what are the requirement for this question so the answer to this question is 1200 uh, mm so this is the correct answer and uh, many of the agriculture guys uh, you know this answers okay so dorsophila melanogaster this is the third question is extensively uh, exploited in the study of uh, first we have to know what is dorsophila melanogaster uh, dorsophila melanogaster is nothing but the fruit fly which is uh, which you commonly find in the case of your uh, fruits if you keep the fruits outside for a longer period of time you find that such small dark flies are moving around the uh, fruits that small uh, fruit flies which move around the fruits we call it a dorsophila melanogaster okay so this has been extensively used in the study of uh, in the study of uh, genetics okay so answer to this question is uh, will be option number b i hope you are getting my and uh, that's uh, the thing is that uh, that every question is not possible to discuss because it will take a longer period of time i will be taking uh, care from where it is the question is coming okay so so that you can get, have the idea if you want the more videos for the mcqs or for a particular topic discussion do post in the comment section okay so this question is directly ten, um, taken from the uh, genetic uh, topic okay so next uh, question which of the following animals uh, emanatoly uh, animal you are in the uh, zoology section if you have studied uh, many of the organism uh, which are eminotelic or eurycotelic organism so uh, they are asking here which of the following is an aminotelic uh, animal so you know that fish is an aminotelic uh, animal that means uh, the, uh, the animal which is excreting uh, its uh, excreta in terms of uh, ammonia okay now the second question comes the botanical name of amla is amla ka botanical name ka uh, jo botanical name hai wo kya hai amla ka to it's amblica officinalis you know this is a question that has been directly from the scientific uh, scientific name ka jo section hota hai ki aap botanical naam batao kisi uh, um, plant ka so from there it has been taken so it is amblica officinalis is your correct answer the answer to this question is option number a so let's move to the second uh, sixth question uh, fog is a colloid of c now the important thing you have to remember this what is um, you have gone through a um, so solution you have gone through a solution chapter in chemistry and you also have gone through the surface chemistry 
so there is a uh, in, uh, in case of your solution chapter you in the class 12 also you have got regarding the many um, uh, many things that gas in liquid that is uh, you have studied for the solution chapter that is a solute and there is a solvent okay so when the solute is dissolved in the solvent it makes a solution right uh, so fog is a colloid of basically what is this this is a fog so when the liquid is this is a solute liquid is dissolved in gas then we call this the liquid is your um, the liquid is your solute and the gas is your solvent so ultimately they are formed they are forming fog and that fog is liquid in gas colloid so it's an important term and you have to remember this the answer to this question is option number b liquid in gas uh, aflatoxin aflatoxins are produced by you know that uh, aflatoxins these are the basically toxins that are produced by the fungi so do you have to know this to all sorts of things okay black wood is obtained from black wood is obtained from from where the black wood has been obtained the blockage uh, black wood is obtained from acacia acacia is a where this is the so many uh, uh, botanical guys who are, uh, who are from the botany department and uh, botany uh, background they can know this answer the osmotic pressure of the solution increases with the rise in this is a physical chemistry you know that osmotic pressure is pi equal to crt you have uh, done in your class 12 also if you have not undergone chemistry in bsc also you also know that pi equal to PB, uh, crt then what is that pi pi is osmotic pressure is equal to crt then uh, you know that t that T is temperature. So, osmotic pressure is directly proportional to the uh, temperature. So, answer to this question that osmotic pressure increases with the rise in temperature. So, answer to this question is option number A. Ekdam sarale, bahut, uh, this is very easy. So, so I am just going uh, with the flow. You don't, uh, if you have any problem, do post in the comment. I am uh, here taking 100 questions. So, it will take time. So, I am just uh, hypo oxia water hypoxia water kya hota hai? what what do you mean by hypoxia water now first of all you have to remember the word hypo now if anything is hypo that means it is in lesser in quantity first of all you understand this thing whenever i am telling hypo if it's a hypothyroidism also hyper hypotonic solution also that means the concentration is less now that something is low and oxia means what um, oxygen so answer to this question will be low oxygen so hypoxia means low oxygen water let's move to the 11th question the most uh, stable ecosystem just don't go through the uh, answer questions only just uh, take it down in your copy so that you can understand uh, more and more things if you have a problem in agriculture section also we have uploaded and uh, myself only uh, taken care of all the section regarding agriculture maximum horticulture fisheries and all this has been uploaded from the Korean nectar so do go through that video also if you find any problem in agriculture so this is 11 questions uh, question uh, just uh, see this question uh, the most uh, stable ecosystem most stable ecosystem in mass and in mass forms are most stable ecosystem hai aapko yehi batana hai to answer to this question will be ocean ocean is the most stable ecosystem which antibody is increased in asthma and a hay fever to hay fever ya uh, which antibody is increased in uh, asthma and hay fever condition consa antibody increase ho jata during that um, disease so answer to this question ige see this is a basically a julusi question julusi se basically a question ek hai aur aise bahut sari cheeze aapko julusi se uh, question pucha ja raha hai because aapko pata hai usme botany aur julusi aayega you know better this uh, pra, this question paper will be comprising of botany and julusi and also agriculture so this is a basically a question from the uh, julusi section ig is a uh, immunoglobin e the graph taken from the cadaver the cadaver se jo graft liya jata hai usko kya bolte usko yellow graft bolte this is a question for botany you know that uh, so these are the very important things you have to know the shaft you have uh, you have to know the shion so all these are very important in case of graft and what are the types of uh, grafting you can use so these are the question important question the flow of focal length of islands is obtained by the focal length of the islands is obtained by the ciliary muscles you know that the ciliary muscles acts as a contraction of the islands so this is the answer to this question is ciliary muscles very very important 
Spermatozoa in seminal fluid um, utilizes the following sugar for its metabolism. So it is metabolism though. Okay. So it's metabolism. Uh, so which of the following sugar they use for its metabolism? The answer to this question is fructose they use. Okay. Nitrogen base uh, it says do not continue that the nitrogen as base pairs are there. Now now the, the, the question is asking um, about the nitrogen as uh, bases. Okay. So out of them, which one is not present? So phosphorus is not present over there. The answer to this question is option number C. Hopkins coal test is used for the identification of uh, this is uh, this is a test. Basically, this is due for uh, this is done for a particular um, uh, particular amino acid test. Is called we we call it a tryptophan. The answer to this question is will be option number B. Okay. Hardness in water. This is directly from a uh, question from chemistry. You know that. Hardness is soft water, hard water. So you know, that's a simple question. Hardness in water is due to the calcium and magnesium. Okay. Cellulose is abundantly present present in cellulose. Kin me sabse zada hota hai. To answer to this question is a uh, secondary wall. Secondary wall uh, that uh, cellulose is present. The answer to this question is option number B. Tension wood is the name given to the wood uh, which. So which uh, actually which uh, reacts to uh, diseases actually which reacts to diseases this is called the tension wound father of indian pathology father of indian pathology this is a, di a direct question they may be asking father of um, uh, uh, fingerprinting in india uh, they may ask you uh, the um, indian uh, micro uh, plant pathologist this the question is asking here so its answer to this question is eg butler uh, eg butler is your correct answer Fine tube heat exchanger is used for now. Uh, if you are a BSc graduate, I don't think so. You are going through that. Uh, okay, so maybe in uh, if you have some uh, like agriculture engineering or uh, something like that, you have gone through uh, heat exchanger. There is a lot of heat exchangers are there. Then uh, so the, uh, here they are asking of fine tube heat exchanger. Now fine tube heat exchanger, what does it mean? Uh, in many of the cases, like. Um, uh, in your bike or in your motorcycle, you have uh, you have seen many times there is a fiend area. Some fiend areas are there. Uh, so that fiend area, what does actually, um, what does it do? The basically they increase the surface area. So if you increase the surface area, the more will be the heat transfer. Okay, so heat exchange will be more. So if you are uh, the question is asking for the feed fine tube heat exchanger is used for getting the more surface area for the heat transfer surface area ko bada diya jata hai so that aapke heat transfer zyada ho to answer to this question will be option number d getting the more surface area for heat transfer okay the term agriculture was obtained from the language term agriculture has been has been uh, derived from the which one of the following language to answer to this question is very simple is latin the yolk of the egg contains simple proteins. Now, which are the simple? It's called leptins. The exam, uh, the exams they have asked for this one. So, answer to this question is leptins. Lymphatic filariasis uh, was caused by the parasite. Basically, uh, lymphatic filariasis is caused by the Ucheria bancrofti. To answer to this question is option number C. That is uh, Ucheria bancrofti. Aapko pata hoga, many of your people you are from the zoology background also so i i don't think so this uh, this question is because these are the questions which are they may ask you like uh, any of the pneumonia of uh, which what is the causative organism of pneumonia they may ask you any sort of uh, uh, tb from uh, from where it for example tuberculosis mycobacterium tuberculosis is that uh, is the causative organism so we have to uh, remember the name of that um, uh, system so basically if you have done 12 also then in can you, your 12th also you have a chapter called disease okay so human diseases though from there also you can take care of it the typical order of garlic is due to garlic ka jo typical uh, order hai wo kis se hota hai to is is allicin answer to this question is option number a Fly ash is the pollutant generated by fly ash. This is a pollutant. Uh, so this is one of the major important questions. You may find it any in the paper also. So it's a basically a pollutant fly ash. So this is um, generated from the thermal power plant. The answer to this question is option number A. Which one of the following can flow 
इनमें से कौन सा फ्लो कर सकता है तो आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी इमालशन इमालशन कैन फ्लो and what is emulsion you know uh, you have gone through the color chapter uh, surface chemistry of your class 12 also i am just talking of class 12 why because many of the chemistry question whatever they are asking in the paper they you can solve it by only your uh, having the ba basic knowledge of uh, having the basic knowledge of class 12 uh, maximum thing if you have uh, done it good uh, so you can answer Lipids which contains uh, carbohydrates in combination with the aliphatic acids. Now, this uh, where from this question has been taken? That question is from the biomolecule chapter. If you have gone through that biomolecule chapter, you know it's the lot of proteins, lot of lipids are there, glycolipid, phospholipid, lipoprotein. So you have to know these things uh, from where these questions are taken. What is the basic? Until and unless you know the basic of this question, you can't un answer this question. I am here discussing hundred question. I will. Make you understand where from the question and what chapter they you are going to make an uh, emphasis to get your answer. Okay, so so answer to this question will be glycolipid. Okay, the lipids which contain the carbohydrate in combination with the aliphatic acid, uh, we call it as a glycolipid. Okay, chloroplast uh, chloroplast are absent in which way which of the following chloroplast are not there? Is not there. So answer to this question will be what? Fungi, fungi will be your correct answer. DNA was first discovered by you all know DNA has been discovered by the Watson in Creek, Watson Creek, and you know the DNA model is also there of DNA double helix structure. That structure is like that, you know. If you draw also, I am not able to draw here, so it's like a double helix structure. There is a strand. You all know that thing. Okay, so I am not uh, make you confused by drawing some. Uh, nonsense diagram here, but uh, I will tell you that uh, you know that the DNA double helix structures don't uh, go through it. Also, I will not tell you to go through it. Uh, difficult to draw over here only. So just uh, remember that uh, Watson and Crick has given the uh, model, and uh, the next question also think of the same uh, same type of question. The Watson and Crick uh, model of DNA is in the form of what is it? It's in the form of B form. So actually, it's a B shape, so B form. Okay. Base composition analysis of DNA, DNA double helix structures or the base composition has been carried out by O. That's base composition study that has been uh, done by the Irwin, Irwin and Chergoff. Chergoff. So they have uh, then the uh, base composition analysis. In a DNA molecule, when a purine is replaced by another purine, a purine and pyrimidine is there, you know, all, all you know. Now, purine when replaced by a purine. I am not telling purine is replaced by the pyrimidine. Now they are asking that when a purine is replaced by another purine, the answer to this conclusion it will be transition, not transversion. Okay, so it's a transition. A tautomerism, you know what is a tautomerism? That is a structure. If you have gone through the chemistry, also you have to know geometrical isomers. Okay, which crop is used as a king of uh, cereal crops? Uh, so cereal king of uh, cereal crop is the wheat. Triticum estivum. So do remember their scientific name also here yeah, because uh, these things are very important. They may ask you any type of question. So maybe the some of the questions uh, related to the scientific name also you can able to score from there. So just uh, work on to your basic. I will say. Uh, so you are seeing that uh, what, uh, what are the th uh, type of questions they are asking. Anaerobic uh, anaerobic the biodegradation is see anaerobic biodegradation. Bio means some of the biochemical or biophysical uh, things will be. And you know that when it's an anaerobic degradation is there, so it will be biochemical reaction. Correct to answer to this question is option number C. A complete set X of chromosome inherited as a unit from uh, from a parent uh, from a parent you are inheriting some one particular set of chromosome that is X. Let me tell you this is X. Okay, so this is the genome you are acquiring from. The answer to this question will be genome. The process by which the biodegradation of the special compound is accelerated by introducing the microbial cells. So, first of all, you have to understand that uh, all the options are bio. If you don't know ABCD of this question also, I will tell you how you have to mark it correctly. Now, you tell me there is a, uh, this, all the process are the bio, uh, they have given you all the bio augmentation, bio mineralization, bio remediation and bio deterioration. Now, the term is that biodegradation of special compound is accelerated. Matlab, you have to speed it up. You have to make it boost up. You have to boost it up. Now, the 
important thing is when you are boosting it arms with love you are accelerating it up when accelerating doing something that means you are augmenting something that means you are uh, making it fast okay so only one option bio augmentation will be your correct answer so see if a person doesn't know its answer also he or she can also take it correct by knowing only the process see the by which the biodegradation of the special compound is accelerated by introducing the microbial cells is called the bio augmentation jaha maine dekha ki ye question mein mere ko accelerated word diya hua hai to mere ko pata ho jana nahi it's a augmentation process that is bio augmentation that's all which of the following lack enzyme in mein se kaun sa nimne mein se kaun se mein enzyme nahi hota hai so you know all the virus doesn't have the enzyme relative uh, amount of ribosomal rna e coli in e coli is e coli this is acidesia coli you know that and uh, r rna they are uh, uh, talking of dot now this is uh, the answer to this question will be 80% that is a 80% ribosomal rna okay the process of cultivating wild species to suit the human needs is called the domestication we call it as a domestication whenever we are cultivating some wild species for the need of us for the need of the human beings we call it as a domestication that's not hybridization in either it's not selection see uh, to answer this sort of question is very easy also when whenever you are not knowing anything now selection what does it means you have to select something right selection is not a process hybridization you know what you are doing hybridization incorporation of something new thing so or making it, uh, the play with the genes also so so ultimately what i am telling uh, trying to say you the thing or the options which are giving uh, to you it's very easier to cut them off aram se you can cut them off and uh, after that if you know, uh, if you have uh, only the little bit or understanding of the question also then you also can answer this who discovered and coined the term cell who have uh, discovered the term cell so uh, answer to this question is robert hook robert hook has discovered and coined the term cell very important you know that cell theory is also there uh, ct uh, cell theory is also there okay so cell theory is been given by uh, theodore and swan theodore and swan has given that i r i what is the abbreviation of i r r i so this is internal international rice research institute one of the important question and uh, you may find it in any exam uh, they are asking the abbreviation also so answer to this question is option number b international rice research institute and uh, you have to know about it also tmb was first crystallized by now first of all the question come to your mind what does the tmb mean now tmb means your tobacco mosaic virus and tobacco mosaic virus was first crystallized by the stainley so answer to this question is option number b stainley mulching is a process that helps in mulching is a process that is basically done in the soil uh, to improve the soil okay so mulching we we have put a layer of uh, soil also over there so that uh, uh, the improvement of the soil quality takes place the answer to this question is improvement of soil question number 46 renicate is a disease found in uh, renicate is a disease that is found in the fowls you have to uh, know the many of the um, animal disease zinder pest one disease is there renicate disease Many of the other diseases you have to remember. Growing trees along with the agricultural crops. Growing trees along with the agricultural crops. This means that if we are doing agroforestry. Agro means agriculture se aya hai and uh, doing the trees we are uh, we are calling them as a forestry. So it is basically agroforestry. To answer to this question is option number B. A chromosome with a near terminal centromere. Uh, the chromosome that is called the near uh, terminal uh, centromere is called the is called the acrocentric the answer to this question will be acrocentric the answer to this question is option number d multicolored fluid and cottony contaminants of stale bread are due to the basically what happens i will tell you that if you keep the bread for a longer period of time so there you will find many of the uh, colored uh, colored contaminants above it so you will find a layer of uh, a, la uh, a layer of um, uh, um, cottony 
a substance okay so uh, you will not able to take that bread that well is totally contaminated and that contamination has been done by fungi to answer to this conjure uh, fungi which one of the following substance is released from the seeds at a do um, from the seeds in their dormant state from the in the during the dormant state which of the following hormones have been basically reasoned you know this all these are the phyto hormones we have studied in agriculture on many of the this in botany also these are called the uh, uh, these are called uh, phyto hormones now from which or which one of the following substance is released from the seeds in the dormant state so this gibberellin is been released during the dorm, dorm, uh, dormant state the answer to this question is option number d so this is uh, the 51 question uh, the source of oxygen released into the atmosphere from the relief uh, from the leaves is so this is a very uh, simple question anyone can answer this to this, to this question i'll uh, take a look that uh, you are uh, watching the uh, video full or not do one thing post this answer in the comment section okay so i'll be hoping that uh, everyone will post this answer so check it out let's see okay so let's move to the 52 question 52nd question we have move kar triploid condition is seen in where we can see the triploid condition the triploid condition is been seen in the uh, in case of your endosperm so you can see it in the endosperm to answer to this question is option number c so this is 53rd um, question uh, let me check how, what is the question so yes here herbicide for uh, formulation which is clear solution which is a clear solution turns milky white when mixed with water whenever you are mixing a uh, mixing that herbicide formulation which is a basically a clear solution and it turns itself milky white when you mixed with water so this uh, this is also it is emulsifiable emulsifiable concentrate so answer to this question is will be option number b basically this is a question from uh, agriculture okay the gas which uh, causes uh, depletion of ozone layer in the atmosphere very very easy question you know this uh, uh, chlorofluorocarbon the answer to this question would be b cfc also there may be option like freon also in your option so do remember freon too you have to remember that freon also freon okay so you may find it freon in your option also the type of nursery used in the paddy transplanter what are the what is the type of the nursery that is used in the pay uh, paddy transplanter so answer to this is the portrait portrait type of um, nursery you may find in the paddy transplanter principal dietary source of uh, uh, vitamin k you know uh, yeah in case of your chemistry there you have uh, learned uh, your also in case of your zoology also you have learned that vitamin a d k e are fat soluble uh, there may be a question from like that which one of the following is a fat soluble which one of the following is a uh, water soluble compound and uh, what is the scientific name of uh, vitamin k or vitamin d like this calciferol so you have to know these things so uh, here they, they are asking for the what is the source of vitamin k so the source of the vitamin k is green leafy vegetables so answer to this question will be option number b i am telling you the related question which are coming uh, which may be asking in the, in the future in the paper of fci so okay the common lab contaminant on me uh, nimli me se kaun sa common lab contaminant hai so answer to this question will be uh, vesilas is a one of the common contaminant so uh, amphibians period exist uh, amphibians came into the existence in konsa period may amphibians aaye the to answer to this question in devonian period that uh, that uh, dna directs uh, protein synthesis you know that uh, dna replication you have uh, uh, we have studied you have studied in uh, many of your uh, syllabus also so basically they direct so the answer to this question will be mrna messenger rna this is trna uh, transfer rna this is ribosomal rna so this is a type of the rna that is present basically fruit uh, developing from a complete inflorescence uh, that is fruit that has been uh, developing from a complete fluorescence inflorescence so what is what we call it a composite fruit that is a composite fruit that is a simple fruit that is aggregate fruit you have to know this thing okay uh, they may be asking about your uh, 
uh, any of the fruit uh, they may be asked that we uh, this fruit is either uh, is a composite or false or the aggregate water or the true simple fruit they may ask you by options also by taking the name of any fruit there is a food um, in the albuminous seeds albuminous food mein jo reserve rehta hai wo kya rehta hai to sabko pata hai wo kya rehta hai endosperm rehta hai theek hai answer to this question is option number b the type of pro forest in which teak plants grow uh, teak plants grow in the deciduous so answer to this question will be deciduous forest see this uh, paper is basically a mixed paper of agriculture and all the things so you may be finding some of the question very hard but in uh, some of the question are very easy to you so don't lose your heart i am uh, uh, i am dealing here along with on the, the 100 questions that have been asked in the um, uh, fca 2013 biological sciences paper that is your technical paper okay out of 200 because i can't take all the uh, questions over in the same a uh, video because the video will go high and uh, will go very long okay so just uh, take it down in your copy whatever i am discussing removal of stems before they shed their pollen so is called emasculation everyone knows that this emasculation is a process of removal of stems before they shed their pollen electroporation you not encapsulation eutrophication so these are basically that definition you have to know this thing okay answer to this question is emasculation the functional unit of a sudden and heritable change we call this a muton m u m u t o n zygomorphic pattern uh, okay first of all i will tell you the flowering you have a zygomorphic or actinomorphic pattern so the question is asking about is that zygomorphic pattern of a uh, flower has advantage over the actinomorphic pattern of rendering so what is the what is the advantage of that's a proper orientation to pollinator that pollinator will find it still properly oriented the number of autosome in human beings the number of autosome is 44 the book sacred of life was written by by whom that the book sacred of life has been written to answer this this question is webster you have to know this person who is aristotle is the father of zoology also the father of biology and uh, carolus linnaeus you know the taxonomy so these are the question very important uh, the living fossil uh, tree is which one of the following is a living fossil tree to answer to this question is ginkgo Uh, option number D. Suicidal bags of cells were first reported by which of the following scientists have first time reported that the suicidal bags of cells? So it is A. Do be answer to this question will be A. Placenta of human beings belongs to the category. So it's a basically it's a hemochorion. So answer to this question will be C. you really have to remember this is these are very um, important 71 atp synthesis occur in mitochondria okay so where it, it, it where does it take place atp synthesis atp is adenosine triphosphate now this sort of question are very important glycolysis krebs cycle all these things are very important they may be asking about the number of atp generation also so these are the things that you have to take care okay so answer to this question will be uh inner membrane abscisal zone of ocean see oceans are been uh, are been categorized or they they have been uh, bifurcated into the zones also okay so they have been divided into the zone now the question is asking here the abscisal zone is what is the, is the uh, what is the characteristic of abscisal zone now those we have gone through the fisheries or something they have know that this is a question from the fisheries section and this is the absence of sunlight and presence of the consumer and decomposer so consumer and the consumer and the decomposer both are been there in case of the abscisal zone but there is a absence of sunlight y chromosome in human being is y chromosome is a acrocentric also acrocentric one of the important that uh, The chromosome at the I have discussed this question regarding the acrocentric chromosome. Okay, so see how this question are relating to each other. Uh, synaptonemial complex. Synaptonemial complex, which is there, is completed in which in which stage the synaptonemial um, complex is completed. So this is packeting stage. 
zygotin, pecatin, uh, diplodin, they have, uh, these are the various stages. Uh, genetically engineered Pseudomonas putida, this is basically a scientific name. Pseudomonas putida with XYL genes uh, helps in degradation of, so it basically helps in the, the degradation of well spills. Guano is not seen in the excreta of guano is not seen in the excreta of whales. You will not find it in the whales excreta. That is a dash is a living fossil. Out of which one of the following is a living fossil? Answer to this question is option number B. Call your son. The body of acidia is enclosed in a crest made up of what is the name of that? What is the material that is composed of that crest? The body of the acida is made up of basically a crest, and they are asking you what are the what is the material that is composed of that is tunisine. Don't compare, don't confuse with peptidoglycan also. That's a basically a composition for the bacteria and all. Zoological uh, uh, name for the great Indian bastard is. Uh, the great Indian mustard, the zoological name, you have to tell the zoological name. See how many zoological names they are asking. They are asking the botanical name, they are asking the basically they are focusing on the scientific name also. Four or uh, you may be expecting four questions. So, in the 2013, they have asked, right? So, it's just my answer to this question is option number A. So, it is Nigrisaps. Convex lens is to correct the it's basically the there is a two type of lens convex, uh, convex lens and concave lens and uh, in case of your convex lens is uh, used to correct the hypermetropia and if it's a concave lens that will be correcting the myopia okay. graves disease is caused uh, due to now graves disease is uh, caused due to the hyperthyroidism uh, it's called the hyperthyroidism okay Hemocyan is dash is a dash re respiratory pigment. Now, what, what, which of the following is a respiratory program? Uh, is a respiratory pigment. Okay. So, hemocyan is a basically a blue respiratory pigment. Griff effect in uh, bacteria is more popularly known as this effect is basically Griff effect. Now, that basically is known as a transformation transformation orchid b is a dash species it's basically what type of species is orchid b so it's a little bit in the tough uh, zone question because you might not know what is a, whether it is a uh, endangered you know endemic you know biosphere you know it's a keystone keystone species okay 85 Chitin is the most popular material to construct the nano shells because why you have to tell because it is naturally derived and it is a biodegradable. So this is a criteria of chitin, and you have to remember this. This is one of the beautiful question they may ask. You may find it any other paper also. It's a naturally derived, and uh, you know that chitin is made up of uh, what are the things? So chitin is basically uh, we use. Uh, it is basically naturally derived and it's a biodegradable also. Virioids are infectious agents because they are been characteristics by option number A as a single strand RNA not encased by the protein code. So virioids are, are infectious agents because they are been SSRNA single strand RNA and not uh, encased by the protein code. The chemical mutagens uh, covered under the DNA polymerizes. Now DNA polymerization you know and the polymerase you know this is basically enzymes that are been working. So which are the uh, mutagens uh, covered under the DNA polymerase? So this is the base analog basically. So answer to this question is option number B. So if you run to the botan botany and uh, zoology section then you are very comfortable with the DNA polymerize, polymerase uh, restriction enzymes and all this. Okay. Uh, P 21 p15 these proteins are basically these are the uh, basically cdk inhibitors they are uh, this is a protein representation p21 you may find other 21 in the upper case also like that okay to 21 you may find out here and p15 you may find out here so so p21 and p15 these are the cdk inhibitors a substance present in the nature in greater than the natural abundance due to the 
uh, human activity is known as a that uh, basically what is this basically it is a pollutant if you are using that as using a material which is in abundance in nature and because uh, because uh, and the responsible is the human activity then obviously it is a pollutant the flagellum in bacteria is made up of the flagellum in the bacteria is made up of flagellin the answer to this question is option number a you know the flagella right in the body of uh, bacteria the organ <coughs> sorry the organ uh, affected in our uh, body during the polio infection polio is infection is a deadly portion a uh, deadly human disease uh, so now the question is asking uh, about the organ organ that gets failure by this so answer to this question will be um, option number b spinal cord that's asking about the body part which has been affected okay during the polio infection the activity of bacteria causing uh, metals to be deposited as in insoluble oxides and sulfides so what does it mean it means that you are doing biomineralization biomineralization is your correct answer the activity that you are um, uh, causing the metals to be deposited as in insoluble oxides and sulfides so this is activity of uh, bacteria the phenomenon of the component cell of the callus to form a whole plant to form a whole plant that's a phenomenon of component cell of the callus to form the whole plant we call this a redifferentiation we call it as a redifferentiation the following are the biogenic amines except these uh, uh, out of them uh, three are the biogenic amines and one is not biogenic uh, amines so answer to this question is glutamine glutamine is not a biogenic amine okay addison's disease is caused due to is due to uh, addison's disease is basically due to the hyperfunction of the adrenal cortex it's because of the adrenal hyperfunction that the function is not proper of the adrenal cortex and because of that addison disease occurs okay which of the following uh, lipoproteins acts as a carrier of exogenous triglycerides okay which of the following acts as a carrier of the exogenous exogenous triglycerides now triglycerides you know what are they now exogenous triglycerides which of the following lipoproteins acts as a carrier now this is cyclo uh, cyclomicrons basically this is called the cyclomicrons now in vitamin d poisoning this is a new may be new to the you uh, both serum and urinary calcium are high whether the both serum and urinary calcium are low or the serum calcium is low or the urinary calcium is high or the serum calcium is high and the urinary calcium is normal so they are asking about you the vitamin d poisoning and in case of a vitamin d poisoning you have to remember that is the both serum and urinary calcium are high the answer to this question will be b a sorry a will be the correct answer okay dengue fever is transmitted by which of the following mosquito you have every you know female anopheles that is causing the uh, malaria and all uh, you know so dengue has been uh, caused by the aedes complex formed by in the replication of bubble of a double stranded dna during synthesis is known as this is primosome that is a complex that is formed uh, basically okay during the synthesis glass wares are best sterilized by glass wares are best sterilized by hot air oven method you have done a lot of hot air oven drying in case of your uh, lab in case of your practical so answer to this question will be a hot air oven so this is the end of our session guys uh, thank you for being with us uh, throughout the video so do comment us uh, for your uh, for any sort of video that you were want uh, that you are really like uh, from us and uh, do post in your comments also okay so have a very nice day enjoy your day तब तक के लिए ख्याल रखिए खुश रहिए और हम आपसे जल्दी मुलाकात होगी आपके नया कमेंट जैसे ही मिलेंगे हम लोगों को आपका कमेंट आते रहेगा तो हम लोगों को बुस्ट अप होता है जरूर लाइक कर दीजिएगा वीडियो को और सब्सक्राइब करना मत भूलिएगा अगर आपने अभी तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया करियर नेक्टर को थैंक यू गाइस है वेरी नाइस डे